Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing One Piece. Today we are watching episodes 325, 337 and 338. That's right, I will watch those three episodes today because after 325 there are a bunch of fillers. And I will watch them after I watch these three episodes today. I won't be doing... Uh, reactions on the filler episodes i always let you guys decide you uh, told me some of you well <laughs> on patreon that it's fine to skip them so i will be watching them by myself and give my thoughts on them in the next video so uh, yeah man now it finally feels like everything was concluded when it comes to water 7 and nes lobby Frankie joined the crew we have a new ship thousand sunny i'm so happy man the scene of reunion with usopp and luffy and them crying that was simply phenomenal man it was so beautiful so well done how they were preparing usopp that uh, he won't apologize right he was running these simulations in his head like uh, they will beg him to go back and stuff, but once he realized what happened, it's like he was lying to himself. Usopp is known to uh, lie, right? And he was lying to himself, but in reality, he, he knows what he has to do. He knows that he went too far and he apologized. And Zoro giving that speech to Luffy and to everyone was absolutely amazing. Zoro is like the vice captain man, like he's always there to remind Luffy that he is the captain and that we shouldn't ta take these things too lightly. And we know that Zoro also wanted Usopp to come back. You could tell by, by their body language and their expressions all of them were so happy when Usopp came back so i really appreciate that oda is goat man what can i tell you guys he's a goat and now they said that new destination is fishman island which not gonna lie i'm very excited for we know that tom was fishman it's uh, bringing back some arlong park vibes of course by the way, I missed Usopp's bounty when Kaya and the kids were looking at it. They revealed that his bounty is 30 million, man. And that's 10 million higher than Arlong. And Luffy's first bounty was 30 million as well. My boy Usopp, man. Everyone grew so much. I'm so proud, bro. <laughs> I can't wait to see what happens next, so without further ado, let's jump into episode 325. Let's begin. Great episode, guys. Absolutely great episodes. It seems like we are about to go on this spooky island. Thriller, but... And it's interesting that we met this talking skeleton bro, who was actually a normal human being with his crew, he was a musician, they got killed by another pirate group, uh, thanks to his revive, revive devil fruit, the soul came back, but because of thick fog, it couldn't find uh, his body, and by the time the soul found the body, it was only a skeleton, which is very unfortunate, but it seems like no matter what, it's gonna work, because the soul came back, so it has to work, even if, if, even if it's skeleton, so no brain, no heart, I guess. I don't really know how does it function, but it's kinda dope, right? It, he's very cheerful, but he said that he was drifting for several decades. Ah, that's fucking insane, man. And the fact that he's so happy, but I guess as he said, people are joy. He's happy to see people after all that time. And I like how he immediately accepted Luffy's request to join the crew, but of course he said that he can't actually do it and 
he gave a valid valid reason for that. He doesn't have his shadow, which is a, an interesting plot, side plot that I didn't expect to, to get. So he's like a vampire. He uh, got his shadow taken away from him and he can't uh, uh, exist in a world of light, I guess. So that's why he has no reflection can go into the sunlight just like demons from Demon Slayer or vampires of course so that's kind of interesting and blackbeard has the dark darkness darkness devil fruit did he stole his shadow or something like that i don't really know they mentioned that he is close to luffy something along those lines i have no idea man. but yeah i just wanted to say like seeing the crew chill on the new ship amazing stuff man uh, it gave me vibe of old One Piece, but now we have uh, no problems like Usopp is with us. Everyone overcame their problems, man, and troubles. We are a complete group of trustworthy friends with a very strong bond, and it's such a joy to watch. I would like to follow their adventure, like episodes like this. I can watch that all day, man, pretty much. It's so enjoyable. But yeah, I wanted to say that I like this vibe, like this fog, darkness, this thriller bark, island, and skeleton, ghosts. It's kind of nice, right? I like, I like the spooky vibes and I'm very excited for next episodes. But all that aside, let's talk a little bit about episode 325, was it? My boy Ace, one of my favorite characters, appears after such a long time. He finally caught up to Blackbeard, who is with his crew, the buff champion dude, the guy with the gun, the guy who came to Warlord's meeting, Lafite, was it? Uh, the guy on the horse with the explosive apples that he gave apple to Luffy, and Blackbeard himself. Fourth division commander and stole the devil fruit that he got his hands on. That's insane. So Blackbeard studied devil fruits and he specifically wanted this one. And boy, I can see why the fuck he wanted this one. He is Logia, which would mean that he can become the darkness, right? But he didn't. He still got burned, but he can just remove those uh, flames with his power. It's a busted ability. Yeah, he can feel a pain a little bit more, but who the fuck cares? My man, he has a black hole. Gravity is the strongest in the middle of the black hole. And once you reach the event horizon, the place where black hole begins, you just get sucked in. It's such an incredible force that you can't resist. And that's why he's crushing all those buildings and uh, vehicles and stuff. And he absorbed the whole fucking town. And he later on, like, let out all those pieces of the stuff that he destroyed. And on top of that, like, that wasn't busted enough. My man can cancel devil fruit abilities when he grabs luffy luffy can't use his stretching that would be so fucking weird man. that's so dangerous no wonder that shanks came to warn whitebeard about blackbeard thank god that we escaped him that time on on skype when he was on our ass he's still on our ass he wanted to kill luffy Ace was like, nah, you did not say that. Not on my watch, man. I have two reasons to off you right now. But seeing Ace kind of powerless really made me uneasy and kind of sad, man. But of course, he still doesn't want to back down. He said he will make Whitebeard the king, right? And Blackbeard also said that he wants to be king of the pirates. Their fight was crazy when they clashed with darkness and the sun at the end, right? It's like a Dragon Ball Z beam struggle. And it seems like nobody was winning 
but the end and seeing Ace head upside down, to me, it's kind of implying that Ace might lost this bet. What happens afterwards, I don't really know, but the fact that Neverator mentioned that this is like the huge event that will lead to chain of events. What does that mean, man? It's so fucking hype and so fucking worrying at the same time. I don't know how to describe it, man. You bring back my boy Ace just to roll him like that, man. There has to be more to it. I refuse to accept that he's dead. Blackbeard was very, very stubborn about making him the member of his crew. I don't really know what to think, man. But yeah, that episode was crazy. I, <laughs> I was never expecting that episode. It's weird. It's right before the fillers and before these episodes with the Brook right now. And after the stuff when we got our ship and finished off Enya's lobby and Water 7. But it ties well with Shanks appearing and talking about Blackbeard. And they mentioned days. Shanks also mentioned days as well. But I would guess that Shanks is stronger because he's the captain. And he's one of four emperors like Whitebeard. And he received the scar from Blackbeard. By the way, scar? What the fuck? How would he get a scar if Blackbeard has that devil fruit? I don't really know what happened, but there is so many interesting characters in One Piece, man. I am super excited for the future of this show. I will end the video here for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment. All that good stuff as always, check out my Patreon page if you want to see a few episodes early. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya.